shit. And and then I, I was trying to talk to you. you know, I was just waiting. I was just gonna wait and see how you were gonna be. I was trying to see if you was on some fuck shit. Bitch, fuck you. And what you were trying to wait and see. Bitch, why I gotta work for you? How why I gotta work hard for you, bitch? Fuck you. What have you done for me lately? Ho? I don't have to work for you, bitch. Turn my headphone down a little bit. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. I know y'all seen that intro. That shit was hilarious. Once I stopped being mad over the shit, you know, I was like, oh shit, this shit is hilarious. Let me put this as my intro. Maybe people be tickled about it just as much as I am. Now, I still don't fuck with the hussy. What's her name, Heidi? Flickety, flickety, flightety. I don't know what the hussy name. And even if I did, I still would never say the hussy name right because I don't fuck with her because she keep fucking with me. But anyway, nonetheless, the hussy is funny. That shit was hilarious to me. But anyway, moving on. What's up? Welcome, to Welcome to Chicago. You see it in the background. We had to fly in the midway on all asses. On MLK Day. Yes. King tried to love somebody. Do you, you really want somebody? somebody? For his sake, put your hate away. Take a day. Take a day to love somebody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't play on a holiday. Work to find a better way. Everybody Damn, you loves know all somebody. The words. Oh, we forgot used to half of them. that when we was in elementary school, baby. Listen, I done forgot half the damn words. Ain't that about a blend that? There you go, babe. That's what I'm talking about. You know, that's that decay right there. I knew I loved you for a reason. <laughs> uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. My man trying to get a pick. There we go. Shout out to our finest, baby. That's Shout what I'm saying. Welcome, Welcome to Chicago. Welcome it's going down. Chicago. Yeah. It's 12 yeah. degrees. Okay, so I'll tell you what. It's cold as fuck. <laughs> it's cold as fuck. <laughs> but it didn't stop us from coming. It goes down tomorrow, Windy City Live, and everything else. You know what I'm saying, babe? Yeah, what about Ronnie? What about Ronnie? <laughs> okay, guys, this morning when I got up, I came across an article by MTO News about Ronnie Devo and Shamari Devo. Now, you know, I love me some new edition. And if Ronnie Devo likes Shamari, then goddamn it, I love it. Plus, I love them Devo twins. They are the cutest, cutest kids. They're like the perfect mixture of like both of those like funny shaped head people together. And the kids are just so cute. But anyway, guys. Now, you know, normally I don't mess with MTO News because they be full of the fuck shit, right? Like some of these stories, I don't know where the hell they be getting these stories from. But if the story is plausible, then I'll talk about it. So, MTO News reported Real Housewives of Atlanta star Shamari Devo and her new addition husband, Ronnie Devo, are going viral and not in a good way. The couple created a new group called Me and Mari, and they have a new song together called Love Comes Through. The two performed their new song on ABC7, Chicago Local News, and it was bad. We mean cringeworthy bad. Now listen, this is what I feel about it. Because when I seen like the little clips and everything, I was like, ooh, something about this is just not making me feel, you know, right. So cringeworthy, I guess, would be the best word suited for it. So I saw it. I thought they was cute. And then I just looked away real fast so I wouldn't have that, you know, thing like embedded into my brain you know so moving on the song wasn't bad but the performance was awful the performance started off with the couple bouncing their shoulders up and down and doing 1970s Jackson 5 type dance steps almost immediately after the story was released folks on social media began comparing Ronnie and Shamari to the fictional husband and wife singing group Cephas and Reese from the 1970s show In Living Color. Did I think they was married? I thought they was brother and sister. Child bang. I thought Cephas and Reese was brother and sister. Child. And anyway, Shamari and Ronnie, 51, wed in 2006 and have been together for 17 years since first meeting during the Janet Jackson Icon Awards in 2001. Now, let me tell you the key key about that. 
Shamari was married to somebody else when she was hunting on Ronnie Devo because you know she slept with him on the first night and then it hit and then you know it sparked into something I don't know what the hell happened you know I guess her husband wasn't or her first husband wasn't her type I don't know I don't fucking know but uh yeah she was just like I don't want you no more I'm going over here with Ronnie Devo I will fall and have an open relationship with whoever I want to and child pain for many of those years the couple had an open relationship Shamari told classmates Nene Leakes, Candy Burr, Cynthia Bailey, Portia Williams, and Eva Marcel, among others, that the two enjoy relationships outside of their marriage for many years. Now, let me expound on that. So, you know that she said that it was two people that she jumped out there with, or two, like, lesbian relationships that she jumped out there with. Now, you know how ninjas be. They be cool if you're licking on a vagina, but what they not cool with if you're licking on the vagina and falling in love with the vagina one of those vaginas that she was rubbing on and licking on or whatever was that he he how girl um oh shit i can't stand the rain i just had her name man i just had her name like oh my god she like oh my god her and makeup she's like phenomenal with makeup 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 is a demon it's a whole thing oh missy elliott that's her her and her purple uh what do you call it her and her purple uh, what is that? She got a, I think it's a Lamborghini or something. I told y'all the hussy lives somewhere around me. But anyway, Ronnie Devo was like, oh no, it's cool for you to lick on a vagina, but what you won't do is fall in love with the vagina. And that ninja was hyped. You hear me? He ain't like talking about it when he was on the show. Okay. When he was feeling all uncomfortable, shifting gears. Shamari so went into on. even more detail while hanging with the ladies, revealing that Ronnie had no problem allowing her to experiment with women as long as there were no other men involved. What if you want to get a man with a big chest and big dick? You can't get that, Nene Leakes asked, to which Shamari responded, as long as I was able to go about in my vicarious ways, then I was cool with that. I didn't want to be with another man because I had my husband. I slept with two women. He slept with about 10. I said, oh, shit. But look, that one hussy, that Missy Elliott, that he he how was like 20 million men to him because he was in his feelings about that. I saw that. Oh, I saw that. In the end, however, Shamari knew her marriage couldn't make it long term. If they continue to entertain others, she admitted, I started the open relationship and I ended the open relationship. I realized the grass wasn't greener on the other side. Okay, Mari, good for you, girl. 